A GT Series product is comprised of a touch panel, TFT display, and a printed circuit board. For all GT Series products, the touch panel and TFT display are physically very similar and only vary by size. However, the GT Series CP, 1P, and EP products have different PCB functions. Overall, GT Series products share many features. The touchscreen has high sensitivity and reliability that allows for operation with gloves in wet environments or behind thick overlays. The touchscreen can handle up to 10 touch inputs at the same time. Each product is comprised of industrial grade components, granting wide operating and storage temperatures. The glass touchscreen is scratch resistant and tolerant to chemical cleaning solutions. This makes the display easy to maintain while installed in a customer's system. The TFT's backlight has a brightness rating of 1000 candelas per meter squared. However, the touch panel reduces the brightness down to 850 candelas per meter squared. This brightness can be controlled via display commands or a setup file. Depending on the GT Series product line, a module can either control peripherals with PWM, GPIO, ADC to mention a few, or be controlled as a slave device by standard interfaces like UART, I2C, USB, SPI, etc. Powerful commands exist within certain GT Series product lines that give the host full control of the display. Free design resources are available to help customers use these commands without reading through a lengthy software datasheet. Similar to our VFD products, we can supply our GT Series products for quite a long time. This helps customers save money by avoiding hardware changes in the system. Customers can place orders with confidence knowing they can continue to obtain the product for their system. We have product stock here in the United States at our headquarters in Chicago. Customers also have an option to add extra components to their product order with our value-added services. These services are performed either in-house in Chicago or at our subcontractors. We provide different forms of support from our USA offices. Numerous development tools are available as well as engineers for one-on-one -on -one customer support. GT1P series modules are simple touch display monitors. They are comprised of a TFT display, touchscreen, and PCB board that handles touch and display interfacing. This series can be connected to a host controller with an HDMI and micro USB cable. Display information is sent through the HDMI cable, while touch data is transmitted through the micro USB cable. The customer's host can be anything that sends an HDMI signal and accepts HID compliant touch input through USB and or I2C. A couple examples are a Windows 10 PC or a Raspberry Pi single board computer. A handful of commands are available to change the display's brightness and touch sensitivity. GTCP series modules are touch display slave devices. This series is also made up of a TFT display, touchscreen, and PCB board that accepts commands sent from a host board. These commands can be sent over multiple interfaces and control anything from the display's brightness to font tables to touch setup parameters. Most host boards, high or low end, can send these commands as long as they have one of the supported interfaces. Additionally, FRM2 memory exists to store numerous color images and font tables as well as embedding programmable macro functions. GTEP series modules are touch display host boards programmed with iDev IDE. This is a proprietary and free development environment designed specifically for the GTEP modules. The iDev environment is maintained by our UK division. The makeup of these modules is the same as CP and 1P. However, GTEP modules are designed to be the main host board in a system. Essentially, this is a host board and touch display combined. A GTEP module can control many different peripherals with its built-in interfaces. This product series is also attractive for users who have very little programming experience as they can mix and match our template programs for building a custom application. GTEP modules can run Linux, but this is a custom option suited for users who are already familiar with building programs for Linux. Overall, each GT product variant is quite unique and has its own niche pocket in the market. Both GT1P and GTCP are designed to be slave devices. They both have commands to control touch threshold, display brightness, and other settings. However, GTCP modules rely on these commands to operate properly and show images, numbers, and letters. 
a user does not need to use any commands with GT1P in order to display the HDMI signal and operate the touchscreen. GTEP is a host device with its own proprietary operating system, iDevOS. Primarily, it is used as an embedded touch TFT module that can directly control system peripherals with various interfaces. The integrated development environment, iDevTFT, allows a customer to develop, test, and deploy their program to a GTEP module, as well as manage the files being loaded onto the module. If necessary, a GTEP module can be used as a customizable slave device as well. The touchscreen included on GT Series products is different from regular touch technology. It works even if the user is wearing gloves, the touch surface is wet, a thick protective overlay is present, or there is an air gap between the overlay and touchscreen. This allows our GT Series modules to be placed into many different systems slash environments and maintain reliable operation. Customers can adjust the touchscreen sensitivity to build tolerances. Compared to a touchscreen with indium tin oxide, our touch technology can operate in a very wide range of cover glass thicknesses, glove thicknesses, and air gap distances. Our touch technology is comprised of fine pitch aluminum, which yields a higher signal to noise ratio. This means the touch input is very clearly seen in a noisy environment. The animation clearly illustrates this difference by comparing an Oritake Flatus touch panel to an ordinary ITO touch panel in a wet and dry environment. A finger is dragged across the panel in each test. Looking at the touch graph results, there is a discernible difference between both touch panel types. The Noritake panel has a stable peak point and less noise than the ITO panel. This video clip demonstrates the difference between the two touch panel types. Each display has the same acrylic thickness and air gap distance. Noritake display products have been around for more than 30 years and have been applied to many different industries. Our industrial grade PCB design means that our products stand the test of time and are reliable in demanding settings. Noritake offers many design resources for GT Series modules, most of which can be downloaded from our design resources page for free. These resources include development time saving code libraries, template programs, support tools to help accelerate a customer's evaluation and development time, tutorial videos, and a forum moderated by our USA support team. This is a summary of our support resources for each series. GT1P support tools are focused on interacting with the display hardware. The customer will be responsible for their own GUI designs on the SPC they are developing on. GTCP support tools are mainly focused on loading slash previewing images, command evaluation, and GUI prototyping. Internal and external programming tools are available as well. The IDEV TFT programming environment contains all necessary support tools for GTEP modules. Sample IDEV TFT programs are also available on our UK division's website. Noritake also offers value-added services. Before products are shipped to the customer, additional components can be installed or included in the shipment. Value-added services include glass or acrylic cover overlays, cases, connector and cable assembly, color filters, conformal coating, and power supplies. Evaluation tools are available to simplify a customer's initial evaluation process. These tools include connection boards, power slash interfacing cables, etc. GT Series modules come in an expanding variety of display sizes. This presentation is provided as is and the information present is subject to change without prior notice. All copyrights and trademarks of images or audio belong to their respective intellectual property owners.